everyone, it's Jill with sleepopolis.com and I'm here today to talk to you about the Parachute Sateen Sheet Set. You can see a little bit of it behind me. Parachute is a woman-owned American company based in California. The sheets are made in Portugal out of Egyptian cotton and if you listen to podcasts, you've probably heard of Parachute. I had been hearing about Parachute for a long time before I got a chance to try the sheets out and Despite all of that advertising, I was still surprised at just how comfortable these sheets are. So let's take a closer look. This is the point in the video where I sit down on the floor next to my bed so that I can give you a closer look at the sheets. I have a really deep mattress. This is about 12 inches. And I often find with sheets, I will have one of two or even both problems. One is that uh, the fitted sheet corner does not like to stay tucked in over the mattress and two is that the flat sheet won't get tucked into the mattress at all it usually comes just to the bottom of the mattress if even that uh, but as you can see here the corner of the fitted sheet is still firmly tucked in this is after i've slept on these sheets for three or four nights now and the flat sheet right here i didn't do a very pretty job tucking it in uh, this morning when i made the bed but you can see it is tucked in and there is all of this fabric here on the bottom, tons of fabric to get that nice hotel style tuck. I did not shift the sheet over to be able to do this. It's like this on the other side of the bed too. The founder of Parachute Sheets, because she was inspired by her experiences in a hotel, probably wanted to prioritize features like being able to tuck your sheets in so that you could get that cozy hotel style tuck. So let's talk about the pillowcases in the Parachute Sateen sheet set because honestly it's one of the only things about the sheet set that I didn't like. So I'm going to grab my husband's pillow, disturb my cat Simon. Um, so as you can see, I hope, the um, Parachute par pillowcases are have these nice beautiful corners. There's no extra fabric hanging out over this side. However when you flip the pillowcase over, the opening for the pillowcase is right in the smack dab center of the pillow. And what that means is that it's very hard to be able to turn the pillow over in the middle of the night, which is the thing that I like to do. Sometimes the pillow gets hot, sometimes I fall asleep with my hair wet and just wanna flip the pillow over so that it's dry. Either way, having something on the side that has a lot of fabric is not super fun or attractive, but having an opening on the side with a flap would definitely be preferable to me than having this uh, seam right down the center that keeps me from being able to flip the pillow over. I will say that there were a couple of times also I sleep with my hand kind of under the pillow where I actually got my hand stuck in this pocket here. So just something to be aware of. Um, it turned out that if I turn the pillow the other direction so the opening was facing away from me, that problem at least was solved. But I still would have really loved to be able to flip the pillow over when uh, my wet hair soaked into the pillowcase a little bit too much. Now, Parachute actually has an entire section of its website devoted to the care broken out by each individual product that they sell. But in short, parachutes, sateen sheets should be washed in cool water with liquid detergent and then tumble dried on low. They also recommend that you not use dryer sheets, that instead you use a wooden dryer ball. Um, I am somebody who uses dryer sheets, so that is something that uh, will take some getting used to for me. I'm also used to washing and drying my sheets on high. But these sheets are so soft and delicate that I completely understand why they wouldn't want you to wash them or dry them on a higher heat. Now, as I mentioned, these sheets are sateen. Sateen, as a rule, wrinkles a little bit less than percale, actually sometimes a lot less. Um, these sheets, because they are such a fine material, did wrinkle more than I'm used to sateen wrinkling. It'll be interesting when I try out the percale to see what the wrinkle factor looks like there. I'm not somebody who's ever going to iron my sheets or pillowcases, so my best advice to you, I've had these on my bed twice and they looked much better and prettier on the bed when I made the bed immediately after pulling the sheets and pillowcases out of the dryer. Uh, if you don't mind the rumpled look, these it really isn't that badly rumpled, this is after being slept on rumpled, uh, then it's totally fine. You can just make the bed after your sheets come out of the dryer whenever is convenient for you. Let's talk a little bit about the pros and cons of the Parachute Sateen sheet set. 
The first pro, the absolute biggest pro, is how comfortable these sheets are. They are more comfortable than most sheets that I have slept on in my home or in any fancy hotel room. And that's awesome. Uh, for sateen sheets, they're actually very light. That's part of what makes them comfortable. They feel much more breathable than the sateen sheets that you might buy at a department store or a big box store. My husband and I both sleep very hot. We tend to be night sweaters, which is a good detail to know about me. And uh, neither of us have been waking up in the middle of the night sweating under these sheets. And in fact, my husband has now said to me three or four times just how much he likes these sheets. And he, like me, has been hearing about them on podcasts for a while and thought maybe it was too good to be true. Turns out it's not. Another big pro of the parachute sheet set is that the sheets fit my bed. I, as I, you saw, I have a very deep mattress and I often struggle to find sheets that will either stay put while I'm sleeping in them, the fitted sheet, or a flat sheet that I can really tuck under the mattress and these provided me with both. A big pro about the parachute sheets that I have not mentioned or about parachute in general is that it's a company really focused on social good. So when you buy their Venice bedding set, which is the sheet set plus a duvet cover, they contribute a mosquito net to United Nations charity called Nothing But Nets that is concerned about preventing the spread of malaria and other diseases that mosquitoes can uh, spread in the developing world. You can also make a contribution to Nothing But Nets when you check out from the Parachute website. Cons, I mean, as soft as these are, like I said, these wrinkle quite a bit for sateen sheets. Not a huge con for me, but knowing that I've been taking photographs of my bed lately, it would be nice if I could put something on the bed that would be a little bit less wrinkled when I pull it out of the dryer. Another con, like I said, I don't love having the pillowcase opening in the back. It's really limiting if you're somebody who ever has to flip your pillow in the middle of the night, which is something that I do with some frequency. So that was, that was inconvenient for me, but uh, sure felt nice to put my face down on those pillows. So my cat Jack, whose tail you can see right here, is telling me that it is time to wrap this video up. I have a full review on sleepopolis.com. I will also be posting a review of the uh, percale parachute sheets soon. So until then, I will see you guys next time. Bye.